Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins where I continue my aerodynamic exploits with the Z car, I guess we've called the plane. I've picked up Shockingly Fast, which is going to Mach 2, and also Learning to Fly Round 3, uh, which is through the checkpoints again, uh, this time under 3 minutes and 24 seconds. Now we've been using the same plane basically, but it has trouble getting past Mach 1, uh, so we're probably going to need more power. So let us go to build, and perhaps uh, thinner wing. Uh, people pointed out that the symmetry didn't work on the control surfaces. I didn't realize symmetry didn't work on control surfaces or something. Uh, I don't even know if that's symmetric. It doesn't look symmetrical. It probably doesn't matter a whole lot though, but uh, yeah, uh, asymmetry is a thing with planes sometimes. Uh, Check out the Rutan Boomerang, or I think there's a NASA plane that actually has the entire wing on a hinge. Yes, the AD-1. NASA AD-1. Take a good look at that and ponder what we may or may not know about aerodynamics at this point. But anyway, uh, yeah, minor asymmetry is not going to make a big deal. So I'm going to make a thicker wing like this and then try and symmetrize. Mirror. Okay, mirror symmetry. Alright, game. We probably don't need that much aileron. Okay, now we need to address our engine. Really, with a sign thrust weight ratio of more than one, it really shouldn't have any problems already. Getting past Mach 2, I mean. But I'll give it more. We'll be like that. And I'll keep it to electric because we didn't have any battery power issues yet. Okay, we'll try out this modification and see what else we have to do. Okay, well, let's taxi. As usual, we have a checkpoint at the end of the runway there. Oh, it got us a skew. It got us a skew. Uh, I think it'd be better if we just flop off. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Okay, um... Eight, somebody said, was the landing gear? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. I forgot chase cam. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, ah, okay, maybe too, uh, oh, we're going way too fast, way too fast because of the new engine. Whoa, okay, we also have way more maneuverability for some reason. Oh, I didn't make that one. I keep missing that one. Hold on, uh, let me just restart. Um, we'll just retry. This time I'm going to get to chase view first and not throttle up so much immediately. But it's a little bit too reactive in roll. Maybe I should just focus on the speed first. Let's do Mach 2 and then we'll worry about the checkpoints afterwards. Well, not afterwards. On the next flight, probably. Oh. Uh, Okay, yeah. Let's try to feel. Uh, let's do the checkpoints first. It's the harder thing. Oh, gear up. Ah, I press. Keep pressing G for gear. I need to change that. It'll just always be instinct for me to press G for gear. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. This time, all right. Okay, Phew. I was worried I wouldn't actually hit that one. Yeah, with the thinner wing, maybe it was the landing gear drag that caused me to be extra draggy before. And we didn't turn as quickly as we do now. Well, land uh, I pressed G for landing gear again, shoot. Ah, uh, I missed that one. Oh, we were going too fast. Oh, we're definitely not lined up very well. Uh, 
I thought we were going to be landing. I thought there was only seven checkpoints. Okay. Okay, well, runway edge is not going to be makeable like that. Okay, traffic pattern time. Oh, 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 oh! Ah, mountain. Okay, we'll just go for speed. Uh, safe flight. I that was just mountain. Fifteen kilometers, huh? Well, with landing gear up, maybe this thing will accelerate a whole lot faster than last time. Okay. Nope, we're gonna go to Mach 2. Landing gear up. So, what I was talking about with trim is, when I let go of the joystick, you'll note that it tends to go down in pitch. Pitch trim, or elevator trim, is used to counteract that and to basically set the aircraft at a firm pitch. So I'm, I don't have my hand on the joystick right now, and it's drifting down, you see. Could be a little bit nose heavy or something. But in real planes, they just uh, have a little bit of pitch trim. Oh, it didn't like that. Uh, in order to counteract that. And so, you know, planes on takeoff will have a certain proper trim. And in level flight, they'll have a different trim. But it's a little tab on the elevator. And maybe I should add a little tab on our pitch controls, in this case canards. Ah, uh, I was talking too much. Uh, I was talking too much and didn't accelerate very well. Okay. Well, the cost really isn't a big deal for our current budget, but... Okay, trying to do this more efficiently. I'm pretty sure I can get to Mach 2. Uh, I don't even need to hit the checkpoint at the end of the runway. I don't know why I'm waiting. Okay, let's gain altitude and get as close to 15 kilometers as possible first. Oh, we better start accelerating now. We're not bringing this plane back, that's obvious. Mach 1. Full thrust. Mach 2, that's one kilometer. It's not gonna keep reading my Mach number. I wanna know how fast we can actually go here. Oh, that's Mach number over there. 2.2... 2. three, and then that's it. Well, um, I don't know how far we can glide. There's some nicer terrain way further ahead. And somebody had suggested putting a camera in the nose. That's uh, another idea. I haven't done that yet. Maybe for the checkpoints one, we should do that. Well, it's not going to land here better than it does on the runway, so... At least I think it won't. Aiming for the screen patch here. Uh, 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 oh, of course it's in all sorts of pieces. Okay, all right, all right. Crafts to the water safely. Why is she asking me to get the crafts to the water safely? Water recovery? We've been la we landed on a drone ship. Why do we want to put it in water? Don't hit the water faster than 20 meters per second. It seems like a rocket thing. Well, let's finish what we started there. But I want this to be less twitchy. Uh, pitch was actually fine. 
We perhaps don't need the powerful engine anymore for just flying around. Okay, we've got 70 tech points it looks like. Just by launching a whole bunch of craft. I guess crashing helped. Um, so we can probably unlock something. Jet engines, I believe. Okay. I forgot to put the camera in. Uh, well, let's get the chase view at least. Okay. Bottle up. And gear up. Okay. Well, Martin. Oh, okay. Okay, gear down. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, no, I can't get that one. Ah, uh, stupid approach pad. Still going really fast. Runway edge, I can't hit the runway edge. The shorter wings of this make it hard for it to go slow, so... Hmm, no. I'm not gonna be able to do it in time. Well, it doesn't have the node there, uh, so I'm not practicing this properly. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. We'd still sort of make it, kind of, I guess. Alright, well. Let's recover that, and we're gonna change it. I think I'm gonna reduce the amount of fuel in here. Okay, maybe that will be a little bit better for landing. Okay, we have a camera. Okay, this is the view from our camera. This is going to be exciting. Okay, here we go. Alright, gear up. Feels super nose heavy right now though. Okay, well, with this camera, it's certainly better. Oh, checkpoint 8 is always trouble, though. It always leads me to be too high for the runway edge. Oh, okay. I definitely put the gear down. I definitely put the gear down. Brakes! Brakes aren't working! Brakes aren't working! <laughs> So close. Uh, okay. Gingerly, gingerly. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, having the camera in front is a lot easier. All right, we got that. Record time, even. Okay. Now breaks work. Okay. Well, recover craft, I think. So, not giving me a lot of speed stuff here, but there's an air race 10 minutes, track distance 79.5 kilometers. Well, it's easy. I guess we'll give it a go. Well, the center of mass doesn't seem that horrendous. I'll still move the canard up, I think. Okay. 
We'll try this for this race. We only have 2.3 minutes burn time though. Can we cover this distance? Okay. Sorry, we're in this view and can't see the plane, but it's probably for the best. Okay, checkpoint 2 is over there. And gear up. Well, raising the landing gear will sure help our range, huh? Uh, I don't like how... Apparently there's some fly-by-wireness going on here. Can't see where that is. Okay. Uh... Uh... Where the heck corner am I supposed to cut now? There's a little thingamajig over to the left there. Oh, looks like you're gonna have to... Hmm... That's... mean. That one's mean. I wanna say. Okay, at least we got without going too low. Oh! Whoa! Oh! I didn't get that one. Gosh, that's a tough one. Probably a better approach to that one. We're gonna die. <laughs> ah, we died. I mean, okay. I don't like this air race. This is a dangerous air race. I'm gonna leave that be. Apparently we just have to splash down. I mean, let's just get rid of that. I think we get a new location and everything. Bay in front of the port. I guess we should probably use the same rocket that we used for the landing, but I don't even know if I saved it. Purple lander. I, uh... Was this supposed to be for... No, this wasn't for landing on the... drone ship. I don't even remember which one was for landing on a drone ship. Let's just have a straight mod propellant thing. It'll be simpler. And we'll have Gargantuan RCS. So we'll try this. I don't have any gyros. We have a mod propellant thing at the top. And we'll see if we can... We just need to splash down, so it's not even needing to be very precise. Which pad is the best pad to launch out of to get to this bay? That bay. Might, might be the DSC launch pad, really. We probably don't even need this huge rocket. It's sized to fit the village pad, incidentally. Let's just go with the alley pad. It'll probably be close enough. So, green... Thing, I guess this is the port okay so I'm guessing a heading of 120 ish here that's our target and go DSC ports over there it says oh, I was looking from there yeah the DSC port is I was looking from the wrong pad Don't know how accurate they need it to be. Mage engine taking heat time. Stroll down. Oh! 
Lots of mage engines took heat. <laughs> okay, well, this is more complicated. Um, we don't really need landing gear. Okay, it is free. Well, let's try and proceed, I suppose. Oh, this is the engine not have gimbling? Whoops. Okay. Oh, I didn't want gyros, but I did want gimbling. Yeah, I don't know how accurate they want it exactly, but... Let's try this. Maybe there's a little circle there that tells me how close I need to be. Is landing gear ever gonna want to pop out? I think it's damaged. I'm just gonna have it hold retrograde. We don't have to make any fine-tuned adjustments. We just need to make sure that we splash down at less than 20 meters per second. Okay, we are coming in. Things that are taking heat damage, I'll throttle up to try and slow down. Okay, we better save the rest for actually touching down. Well, touching. 20 meters per second, whatever you want to call it. Go to the bay in front of the port. Oh, it's right in front of the port. So it's not this flag. Oh. I misunderstood. It's, the, it's not counting this location. Okay. Not too gently, not too gently. Okay, okay, stop. We're floating. I, I blame the flag. I don't blame myself. So we're going to retry this one. I got fooled by the flag. Alright, we'll try this again and hopefully not explode the engines. Yeah, I thought it was just gotta be this whole area. They, they specifically want this bay here. I guess maybe that flag was the old drone ship? I don't know. Well, I think that's a good enough path for now, maybe. Let's get rid of the fairings. I mean, it seems like the markers are at the southern end of that square, doesn't it? I don't know. Let me try and... I mean, the target marker is a little bit further south. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to do... Let me turn retrograde now. I think I'm going to retro a bit. Okay, let me take some control here. I think they want it pretty precisely like within that box, so... Let's see... Oh, oh shoot, we're uh, aerodynamics. Um, let's get rid of that. That's not good. Hold retrograde again, please. Oh, yeah, they would just want that little circle there. <laughs> yeah, this is obviously a pre-drone ship sort of practice. Or maybe it's pre-landing on the... Landing pads? Surface landing pads? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know if the landing gear is ever going to come out for me. Maybe G works this time? No. We really need to get over there before the... Air stops us from going laterally. <laughs> there we go. Maybe that's better. Hey, there's a drone ship in port, in fact. Twenty meters per second, right? Okay, we got it. All right, in flight. Recover craft, I guess. Recovery bonus, even. We even got money for slashing it down. All right. So... Hmm... I really want a fast plane trip thing. I don't like this cutting corners one. Maybe the valley areas is better. 
Like, they don't have little nodes in dangerous locations. Let's try that one. Let me get rid of this one, otherwise we're going to come- Oh, oh cancelling the con uh, contract now costs money. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll keep it for now. Let's do the Valley Air Race, though. But I don't remember if I still have my plane. <laughs> uh, well, it should be Z car, right? No, Z car is that. I never saved the plane. Oh, where did this Wasp 2.0 come from? Is this a stock plane? I didn't make this. Their idea of a 747-100 with the shuttle carrier stuff. Simple rover. Okay. But have I unlocked all the parts necessary for these? I feel like I might not have. View issues. Oh, that is a lot of issues. Well, we haven't unlocked the jet stuff. Part styles. Double military side spiral. We haven't got all these part styles. Let's take a look at our tech tree. I guess they're uh, teasing us with these craft, telling us what we can do later. Eternal Wheel. Hmm. OP Leaf Blowers will get us some jet engines. But I don't think... because the cockpit's over here, so we're not gonna get that. Let's get the OP Leaf Blowers. And let's design a new plane around that. So no F-15... F-18 for us. No F-18 for us. Okay. So, now I've got jet engines, and these intakes have to be on something, they don't really attach, so I put them directly on the jet engines for now. Got jet fuel here. I have to manually set that. I put, got a fuel line, just in case. Got a fuel line there. I'll even put a fuel line here. I'm not getting Delta V here. Let me see... Well, it doesn't say anything about issues. Uh, obviously we can't take off right now, but I'm just seeing whether it's gonna provide impulse. Uh, it does provide impulse. Okay, so it's just not gonna tell me the Delta V or anything like that in the build screen. It seems like we've got 9.5 minutes of burn time, which is fine, and it Add awesome thrust. 33.8 kilometers per second is nice. So I think this will work out. We'll just recover this. Tell you what, I'm gonna take some time building out this jet plane and we'll see how it ends up in the next video and we'll try some of these air races. But for now, Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please do press like, if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.